Hey guys, welcome to episode 35 of our New York Islanders BGM series. Sorry for switching over here, but we had to do it to make it happen. For whatever reason, we're having issues actually loading up uh, this episode. But we're here for game five, and we're going to see how this plays out, right? Yep. And Landon is here with me, and hopefully he'll be closer to the mic this time around. I'll be a little bit more faint, but he'll be a little bit more closer. So hopefully he'll be uh, picked up better by the audio for this game. And uh, in regards to injuries, Weiss is almost healthy to come back. We're not going to push him, though. No reason to bring him back, especially after having a very solid game uh, for game four there. So we're going to do our best in this one to see if we can uh, get to that Stanley Cup final. Yep. And if we do, that'll be awesome because I want to I get it over with. I want to get there. I know for a fact, I'm not sure I haven't checked, but I believe the series now is 3-1 to one for San Jose. So more... Likely we're going to be facing San Jose, because I think they were up 3 nothing in their series. So they've got a real firm grasp on that right now. But we'll see what we can do here. See if we can claw our way in. I'm feeling pumped, though. Oh my god. We had such a good game, though, last time. I felt very good about that game. Yeah. I want to see the stats as well for the goalies here. So I think Markstrom, you know, one thing's going to happen here is Cam Ward's not going to look too nice after that little showing that he had there. I want to see how Markstrom's doing. Because I know Markstrom has been pretty solid, but that was a nice shadow for him. So it'd be cool to see how those change going ahead here into Game 5 as well. Again, once again, apologies for the background noise. Still extremely hot here. Cam Ward's still looking pretty good, though. Look at that. That is a nice save percentage. But yeah, Markstrom, that was a nice win for him. 11 wins. He's been pulling us through these playoffs. Have we put Nabokov in even once? No. But you gotta, you gotta talk louder if people are gonna hear you, so... When you talk, talk louder. It's not, it's not a matter of, um... You being any closer to the mic, you just have to pronounce your voice a bit. So, try and do that so that people can hear you, okay? Okay. Oh, that was close. Now, why is, I have no clue why Karkner is on the first line right now. I'm going to take a look at the, the setup here in a second. Oh, can you get it? <laughs> just a bunch of slamming on the controller there. That was my fault, though. Not Grabner. Grabner just keeps getting the penalties. Him and Higgins. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me just take a quick look here. Oh, yeah, Spiza's out. That was the problem. So Spiza went down, and that means Karkner's filling in on the top line, which is not what we want. So let's put Strike there, and then... McDonald will go up to that line, and then Karkner can be with Hamannick there. There we go. Let's take him off the power play, too. Sorry for doing that. I just want to make sure that our lines are not compromised. We'll leave him on the penalty kill, though. He's good for that. save there. You're gonna you're gonna win that. This isn't good now. Okay. Nice block. Oh here, here, here. Oh. Two on one or two on zero. Good try. Yours, take your time. Wow. Huge save. Okay, in the case like that, you gotta make sure you're not giving up that puck, okay? Okay. Holy crap, what are we doing? Oh, I was so lucky. 
Okay, we gotta we gotta refocus here. We're not doing good to start off. Marsham is on fire though. Can you get it to me? Oh, that was that was dangerous. Off. Oh, Good save again. No. Here we go. Oh, penalty shot. Yeah. This is this is gonna be a tight game. I can already feel it. Just it it's that not that no certainty so far. Nice. Bam! Look at that goal. <laughs> See, I wasn't going to do that normal back four. I was like, is this going to go in? We're going to get a nice one here. Nice play. Come on. 2 nothing. Oh, just not enough speed on that. Nice hit. Oh, that was a nice glove there by uh, Cam. Okay. Here we go. Oh, another big save. Didn't have enough time as I wanted there. Man, I am so excited now for Angel 14. Can't wait to really dig into a career mode. This is fun playing in the playoffs, but I love just, you know, that grind through the season. I'm totally back in. I was a little bit iffy this season just in regards to my enjoyment, but I'm so excited for NHL 14 now. I cannot explain. Whoa, shit. We also haven't really talked about Corey Schneider being traded to the Devils. That's something that we've completely neglected when we've been playing. Almost too scared to talk about it. Not really. Mm. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that. Ooh, that was close. Bit of spin around there. <laughs> that could have been nice. Yeah. Um. So my, my take on it, Land's a little bit different on it, but my take on it is that I feel like it, the trade that should have happened was going to happen for the longer last season. It didn't happen. And they really got painted into a bad corner when it came down to all that, you know, actually making that deal come through. And I'm not happy about it, you know, and the whole facet of it being we're giving up a goalie that had a, a smaller contract a goalie that had a great future potentially like I I, I highly doubt he's gonna be like he's gonna get his chance in New Jersey and he's gonna do a good job I don't see him being a bad goalie I I really think that Corey Schneider is gonna be one of the the better goalies not one of the best goalies in the league but one of the better goalies look at that poke check there holy crap no okay good cover so I feel a bit bad about that, but I think they were really painted into a situation of like, what can you do in that case? I don't even think they're going to be allowed to buy him out just because that's an owner's choice rather than a GM's choice, right? Is the money there to do that? And I don't think it was. So in the end of it all, I'm excited to see what happens with Bo Horvat, but I'm not putting anticipation on that. It just It's a bit hard to take in the end of it all, but, you know, you gotta make the best of a bad situation. I think that bad situation was created because they took their time for it. They could have made a big deal for one or the other a while ago, and it wouldn't have been considered bad in any way. Now, they waited too long. You know, people thought, it's good that they're waiting for this, but in the end, it doesn't really turn out that way, and it turns to bite them in the ass more than anything. So, it is the bad, you know, situation kind of rectified, but really, it shouldn't have gone to that point in the first place. 
kind of like the whole uh, Phoenix Coyote situation. I feel like it just long and extended doesn't need to go this far. Obviously, we've found out that they're going to be staying in Phoenix for five more seasons, so that's one thing there, but just these processes that don't finish. What it's happened? Kinda crazy. What happened with Phoenix? Um, just, I'm holding on a second. So, A Train saying in the comments that it's 144p. You can turn it up to 720. You just go to the settings, you can change it from anything that you want. There's all the way up to HD 720p. And um, after the back too, there's those four options as well, but you need to change those. It's something that it doesn't go to right away because depending on your connection speed, they'll give you the best option for you. And after that as well, you can switch around while you're watching right away, or you can switch that while watching the live stream as well. So hopefully that helps you out there. I wish there was a way to set it to like one specifically, but here we go, we got a five on three. Let's set up for a second. Let's make this make this nice here. Uh Put it away! <laughs> I'm really not good at setting up. <laughs> it's okay. You, you've been playing Minecraft for seven hours straight too, so you're a bit out of it right now. I was trying to say, take a little bit of break before you're just video gaming it up. Let me work the puck, okay? Okay. We'll get a good setup here. So, you were talking about... No, we're, 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 we're taking a break. We'll get back okay. to that in a second. I just want to make sure we get something going here. Aw, oh, crap. Get to it, get to it. Yeah, but he's got feet speed. Oh, look at that. Look at you. Great goal, Bouchard. Ninth goal of the playoffs, too. So, yeah, guys, if you are... If the goal is lower on your video, just switch it around, and it should be totally fine. We've set it up so that people can watch it in HD. They can watch it at a lower quality as well. It's really depending on you know what's best for you but that's that's the lead we want here and let's let's put this away let's make this game just like last game to get a second goal here on the power play oh, oh close one bud if you're in a if, if you're in a tight spot like that just uh, feel free to get rid of it at that point Careful you do. Wow. Okay, here we go. I'm getting a, I see you. Yep. <gasps> oh. I got rid of it there, unfortunately. Okay, I'm going back for it. Still got 40 seconds. Get on that one. Okay. Just um, cut back. Yep, yep, you got it. That was a good play. What are you doing? <laughs> Do not like his... Those passes weren't supposed to happen there either, so... Anxious of trying to get to the net, back to the net. Yeah. Okay, here we go. So yeah, um, council meeting happened last night, Landon, and they were deciding on if the Phoenix Coyotes are going to stay in Arizona. And essentially went to a vote through the, the city council, went 4-3 to three in favor of keeping the team there, and the team will be kept for another five years. Uh, at least that's the least that they have right now. Wait, why, why are they moving the team? They're not. Or... No, why were they moving in in general? Crap. Marsham is doing so good in this game. Because the team is losing a lot of money. They don't even have an owner. They haven't had an owner since, I believe, 2010. And uh, it's too much to explain right now because we're trying to focus on the game. But they, they have been bleeding money. It's been a really tough go for the Phoenix Coyotes. And they've... Had some success with the playoffs, uh, not last season, but the season before. 
And their hope is that they can build the community a little bit more around the team and, you know, try and get it successful. But it hasn't worked so far, or at least the past little while. So be interested to see how this works. I think it's good that they're staying, but, you know, there was a lot of commotion about where the team could have gone if that was not going to happen. And the talk was it was probably going to be Seattle if that didn't work out. Which would have been interesting, because Seattle's, from us, Seattle is actually pretty much as close as Vancouver is. So we would have had a second team within, like, I don't know, 40, 50 kilometers of us. Which would have been crazy. Arch NMS, uh, Arch, sorry. <laughs> Cannot say words. Arch enemies. Yes. Well, you know, it would be build over time, but it'd be cool to see that because, oh, well, that was that was a smart play there. I don't even know how. I oh, did. could have been. I now was we got a penalty. Expecting you were getting in the pass. Yeah, not happening there. Get the puck though. There we go. Let's kill this penalty. Oh, can you get that? Ah, uh, no. Crap, Karkner, you stay in the front of that. Okay, I got it. Here we go. Two on one. Ah, uh, not happening. That was not supposed to happen there, okay. We've got, we're down a stick. We're down a stick. Holy crap, he's doing such a good job. Stay back, Landon. Okay. He, he got the stick. Yeah, we're good. Yep, here we go. Oh, yep. Yeah, come back, come back. Oh, shoot. Big save again. Ah, uh, you shouldn't have let that go. Good play. Oh, there we go. Good play. Was that a penalty? Nope. Oh, dang it. It only went to the bench. Oh uh, crap. It's getting it on that. So yeah, we'll be doing GM Connected once again for NHL 14 and we'll not right away, but we'll start taking tallies on who's gonna be in the league and stuff in the next while once we know a little bit more about what it's gonna be. But um if you were a part of our original GM Connected for this uh year, it was it was a lot of fun and Landon was on his own team, I was on my own team. That was always fantastic playing against each other. But you did pretty good in the league, if I remember. You were doing pretty solid, weren't you? Mm -hmm. We actually had times where, you know, we have friends that were in the league as well, and you were, you were beating, up, beating us up. It was great. <laughs> Best one was you and uh, our friend Mike playing, because me and Mike have, a, you know, this, this battle going on whenever we play and stuff, and Landon, you know, took him on and took him to seven games in the playoffs, and we kept going back and forth between each other's houses to play. It's one of the better, I think it was one of the better uh, moments we've had with NHL 13 for sure. Yeah. And I, I don't know, I don't think we actually posted those up, but it was it was a fun, definitely some fun going on with that. But I plan to have a lot of fun with that series too going ahead. That'll be my my side thing that I do besides the uh, GM Connect with Landon. Here we go! Oh, good try. You know, if we, if you like... Um, your fans really worked hard. We could like do um team, you know, like the teams. Like, just what do you not, mean? Just not like one player on a team, but two or three. Well, yeah, I wouldn't want to do that. I think everybody deserves to have their own team. Like, I think it's yeah. cool to have people on your team, but then you don't know who's gonna play when, and it's not the same player. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. So that's that's a lot more to handle too, and a lot more pressure to actually get that going on. That was close. I want it. I'm on it.
Okay, I got it. We're offside, I think. Yeah. Okay, we gotta we gotta stay vigilant here though. We're doing good. We're up to nothing, but we're not out of this. Crap. Okay, I'm going back, boys. Oh, come on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna center it. I got it with uh, Schrader there. Don't mind the net. Another center. No. Look at this, we're just killing so much time right now. Aw, oh, crap. Darn. Thought we were going to get the puck back. Oh, almost stole it there. Here we go, here we go. Schrader, get on it. Great, great line here, just killing some time. We gotta make a line change, though. I got it. Crap! Oh, sorry. It's okay. I should have let you got it. No, no, you were, you were gonna get it there. I was just, I was trying to push with you so you could get a two on one. It's a little bit too gung ho, though. Careful. Ah, oh, so close. Just one more goal, and we're we're safe. We're home free. Crap, front of the net. Holy snap. Oh, was that? Oh, thank God. That was a five minute. Yeah, it looked like a five minute penalty. Could have been. But like I said, Markstrom's just been ace in this game overall. Big penalty kill here, though. Got to make it happen. Sweet, we got it out. Nice hit. Just killing time right now, which is perfect. Oh, we're going to let him through. There we go, big hit. Just, just kill the time if you can. Lay the hit on. Nice. Come on in. Okay, front of that state. Oh, get rid of it, Landon. Okay. We're doing good. Clear. Good job. Okay, I'm changing lines. Oh, there's a steal. Here we go. Gotta yep. turn. There we go. You go after it. I almost killed it off. Just keep... Oh, here we go! Oh, look at this! Nice steal there, too. Okay, I'm gonna kill a bit of time. Yeah, I see it. Nice try. Alright, 50 seconds, Landon. We're almost at the Stanley Cup. No! Oh! <gasps> That's okay. It's icing. Holy crap. That was so close. I, we were lucky in this game. We gotta take that, right? Yeah. We, we, I think we've been doing good in this game, but it, it's probably a 2-2 game if it hasn't been for Marstrom and a bit of luck. Nice. That's going to be another icing. Look All right. The crowd, they're like, yeah! <laughs> they're into it. Another face-off? Uh, too much to ask. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We're going to get it. They got the broken stick, Landon. Oh, look. Look at you. Hot vest the hug. Bring it in. <laughs> Going to Stanley Cup Final. He broke his stick, too, which was the best part. 
I think it's second goal. Oh, fourth goal for Vishnovsky. He's been getting in there. Look at that. Some brotherly love there. That's what that is. Tavares, captain of the team, passing it off. Uh, we got to watch the ceremony too. We're going to get the, um, God, is it John C. Campbell trophy? Or Prince of Wales trophy? I can't remember which one's which. I think it's Prince of Wales. Up top. Yeah, I, I messed up. Messed up, I mean. Okay. Yeah, boys. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Good try. We gotta give it up for Cam Ward too in those series though. He's been he's been hot. And yeah. That's all I can say to that. There we go. Going to the cup final! <laughs> No, no pressing the buttons, we're watching this. Put your controllers down. Yeah, make sure we're not pressing any buttons. John DeVere is going to accept that. Um, it'll, it'll probably say which one it is. I think it's the Prince of Wales. Something close to that. It's Vera shaking hands. is going to give each other, yeah, good job, good job. Here we are. No way, we're not touching that. That's bad luck. Alright. Do all the, the people do that? You know what, they, they do most of the time, but I'd like to see an option in future games to let me choose. Can I touch it, or can I just, um, you know, say, ah, I don't, I don't want to, because... Remember Vancouver when they won it a couple of years ago? They carried it off in the dressing room. People were like, oh, they're going that way, and you know, <laughs> didn't work out for them, did it? But yeah, that's the end of this episode, guys. Some uh, goals in each period there. It's starting to become apparent that Bouchard and Grabner are equally being the guys that we want to, um, you know, ride the team with because they've been fantastic in the past seven eight games or so but we will be doing another one of these probably tomorrow too because we've got an extra time uh coming up here so we'll probably be getting game one of the Stanley cup finals up but before then let's check out who's going to be the team that we're facing off against and we'll also take a quick look too at our um overall stats for our players in the playoffs as well so there you go we won that and yeah three ones the other series right now We'll go ahead. No, I don't want to look at that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Stopping the simulation. We're playing the San Jose Sharks. Obviously. <laughs> was it for oh, who? It, it who? was. It was either going to be Edmonton. Well, let's take a look. We'll go to the playoff tree. And then Edmonton we'll go to. Would be actually pretty fun. That would, that would be funny, actually, more than anything. But before we finish up here, so West Coast, Edmonton beat Nashville, Edmonton beat LA. See, that was the thing. LA and Chicago narrowly missed out both of them. I would love to see that series happen. But you know what? San Jose is still a very strong team, so it'll be fun to face them too. You can see the rest of it going on there. And then on our side of the table here, we went to six games with the Washington Capitals. Went to seven games with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Only took five to beat Carolina. How much is it going to take? Can we do a sweep in the, 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 the cup final there? I don't know. But it, interesting how this one played out because Carolina beat Pittsburgh. Um, Ottawa lost to Florida. It was really weird. The four teams that made it to the semis are, you know, teams you wouldn't think were necessarily going to make it if it was uh, the real thing. Let's see here. But we'll set uh, a similar time for tomorrow's game, and we'll get that out to you guys. So Tavares, top score for our team, 14 points, 18 games. But the top actual goal scorer is Pierre-Marc Bouchard, who's been really solid as of late. Trevor Daly, best defenseman so far. Higgins stepping up. Weiss injured for a couple games, so he's doing pretty solid too. We'll have him back, I believe. Was it Weiss? It was Weiss, right? Yeah, we got Weiss coming back. And then Grabner's been scoring those nice goals lately as well. So he's got so many penalty points. 
our penalty minutes. Um, and then good old Matt Molson, four games. <laughs> That's it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed. We'll have it up 3 p.m. Pacific time. I'll set up the time, so if you want to check out the uh, first game of our Stanley Cup final against the San Jose Sharks, you can check it out at 3 p.m. tomorrow. Until then, though, see you around. Bye.